the dangers of tarot readings oh this is going to be one interesting video why is that because my channel has always been dedicated to tarot readings i literally make content for pick a card videos and that's what i love to do but being a professional tarot reader myself for over the past couple of years have really taught me a lot about the people that consume my content and any other content on youtube really you know i have noticed certain patterns and behaviors from people from my audience that are consuming tarot content so i noticed something you know that keeps repeating on throughout the tarot community when it comes to watching tarot reading videos so keep in mind okay that this video is primarily focused for people who are just consuming tarot content online because it will be a whole different explanation when you are booking a personal reading okay so for today's video i want to mention six points of the possible dangers that you need to be aware of when you are consuming tarot content whether it's on youtube or tiktok you know especially tiktok because it has become such a huge trend you know tarot reading has become this really really huge trend on tiktok so this video is for you okay so if you are new here of course welcome my name is cindy antoinette i have been a professional tarot reader over the past couple of years ever since i created this channel and i have accepted thousands and thousands of clients worldwide over the past years so i know what i'm talking about okay i know the behaviors that people are you know dealing with within themselves when they're doing tarot readings i mean including myself okay because i also consume tarot content myself i still like to ask for tarot readings from my friends so make sure that you subscribe and click the bell ring because i will be making a series of videos specifically to educate you more about tarot readings okay or anything else about tarot cards and anything that surrounds tarot so i decided to create this series and add it to my channel to add a little bit of more spice you know instead of just doing pick a card videos I want to do something different but still relating to tarot readings okay so point number one is when you are desperate okay it's not good when you are way too desperate about something especially about someone okay keep that in mind especially about someone so when you are so desperate about this one person okay let's say you really really want this person you are in some type of situationship with this person or you are separated from this person and you are so incredibly extremely desperate to get this person's attention or to be with this person or to get back to this person or to reconcile with this person to contact this person whatever the case may be if you are specifically desperate about someone okay keep that in mind someone i would not recommend you to watch tarot readings online now the thing is that with tiktok is a lot more worse because a lot of times videos like tarot content on tiktok has no piles to choose from it would be a different thing though if you are desperate about your career if you are desperate about your financial situation i mean that's fine because when it comes to that it is still something in your self like within yourself in your life you know so if you are desperate about any other aspects within your life that doesn't directly involve someone else's free will then it's a whole different story it's fine if you're like desperate and you need some guidance because that's how i feel if i'm really really desperate and i feel lost 
you know, I feel lost in my career or I feel lost within myself, I definitely need a tarot reading. I need guidance from the people that I can trust. But if you are desperate about someone, you have to remember that that other person also has their own free will. So the other thing that I want to mention is that when you watch those like tarot reading videos that keeps popping up on your FYP, if you if you're using TikTok, I want you to just have fun. You know, if it resonates, fine. If it's fun, fun. You know, if it made across your FYP, that's also fine. You know, if you feel that you like it, you want to save that video, that's also fine. There's nothing wrong. I also do that sometimes. But again, what I want to warn you is that when you are way too desperate and you cannot think clearly for yourself, probably it's time for you to take a break and stop consuming tarot reading content for a while especially on TikTok, okay? Because on YouTube, at least the good thing is that you still have control over choosing which pile intuitively that you feel called to. Whereas on TikTok, it's just like popping up on your FYP, you know, there's nothing for you to choose from. So the next thing that I want to mention is the second point about you becoming dependent. So it's never a good thing for you to become completely dependent just on tarot readings. I knew some people in my life where they became so dependent, like so incredibly dependent on tarot readings over every single small things in their life. Even some things that it's just too small. Your life is still your life. Yes, tarot readings can give you advices and guidances and whatever it is that you need to know and also some possible predictions if the tarot reader can do predictions. But it's also important that you still have your own power, you still have your own choices. So it's important for you to know that, you know, because sometimes when people do certain things that are not aligned for their highest good, and then they blame the tarot reader or they blame like, oh, you know what, this tarot reading never resonated with me, it's not right, blah, 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 blah. But the reason why this one person felt like everything just went wrong in their life and then they blame the tarot reading that they consume, that is because it's their own action, it's their own choices. So the next thing, the third point that I want to mention is about becoming paranoia, okay, paranoid if you have paranoia. So for some people, for some people, including me, I have crazy, crazy, crazy level of anxiety, okay? I overthink a lot. My anxiety is literally off the roof, especially when I am depressed or when I am manic or whatever, because I am also dealing with, you know, certain mental issues myself that I'm still working on. So. I would still suggest for you to get the necessary medical help by a professional if you need to. Either you go to a psychiatrist or a psychologist because remember, you still need balance, okay? So the thing about you getting paranoid is that if you are someone that overthinks like crazy, if you are someone that has like really spiky high level of anxiety, then I would say that consuming way too many tarot readings online is not good. Again, it's different if you decide to book a personal reading, and even so, I would still suggest you not to overly book a personal reading, okay? Like, you need to give yourself some time. I would not suggest you to book like five to 10 personal tarot readings consistently within like, only a week you know that would be like insane like what are you doing it's okay for you to consume tarot readings online and even booking a personal reading with a tarot reader that you know you can trust 
but you also need to know if it's time for you to take a little bit of a break you know because if you are someone that overthinks a lot and you have like spiky level of anxiety then you are just going to keep thinking about this one thing that this reading says and even though it might actually not resonate with you but you kind of like oh my gosh like i'm so scared what if it actually resonates what if it actually going to happen oh my gosh what's going to happen to me and you just get all scared you know so remember this is why like i said it is still your own responsibility ability to analyze the situation yourself to use your intuition to discern the information realistically and logically as well and take whichever that truly relates to your own situation i would never tell people to just like listen to tarot readings and just take it all away you know just take it all in you know without even filtering like oh my gosh do not ever do that do not ever watch tarot reading videos online whatever without filtering because you need to know again that pick a card videos that's public consumption there's like so many people so many people with different situations that are watching it so you need to know how to separate some signs or messages or whatever that is meant for you and that is not meant for you so with that being said this comes to the fourth point which is one of the most important one and that is when you do not want to work on yourself so like i mentioned before it's practical practical practically <laughs> it's practically oh my goodness whatever but basically basically it is bs if you keep asking for advice and guidance from tarot readings but you actually don't want to do anything about it you don't want to do anything to fix the problem or whatever so this is actually a little bit different from people who are just desperate you know this is for people who actually want to get some solution advice or whatever about their concern of a situation so for example this is what I noticed that a lot of times happens let's say you are dealing with someone toxic in your love life with someone that is very manipulative or even abusive you know and then you keep asking for so many readings to to so many tarot readers and you keep watching like thousands and thousands of pickup card videos on YouTube and you you know you know deep down inside that the advices and the guidances that you keep receiving from all of those tarot readings keep telling you that it's best for you to leave that person okay for you to cut off that person from your life because this person is abusive or this person is really toxic for you they're not good for you blah 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 okay but it would literally mean nothing no matter how many readings that you have watched or even personally book but if you don't want to do anything about it if you decide that you still want to stay with that person if you decide that you still want to keep that connection with that person in your life that is obviously toxic for you then honey that is your own problem <laughs> i gotta say that is your own problem you're not listening that's the thing you know you're not listening and you don't want to listen you only want to listen to tarot readings that will tell you what you want to hear so the other point the fifth point i want to mention is that it's not a really good idea you know for you to consume to keep constantly consuming tarot readings if you just only want to look at the past so a lot of times people keep asking questions about what happened between us how did this person feel blah 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 i mean it's fine if you are still in some type of contact with this person you know but a lot of times people keep asking about their ex which they literally lost contact with probably that other person already blocked you for christ's sake you know maybe that person already blocked you that person ghosted you whatever and then for so many months or even for so many years 
you still cannot let go of this person you're still hanging on to the past and you keep asking about the past situations that you had with this person with tarot readings look at that flame though like the middle flame like it was burning Whoop! look at that it was burning so tall so i mean i guess that's a sign that whatever bridges that have been burned just let it that way just let it go honey okay it's not ever a good idea if you keep asking tarot readings keep asking keep asking keep asking about the past like you're just being stuck there you know like you're literally letting yourself getting stuck in that cycle in that time loop so in order for you to really heal you have to just let it go and i understand that some people may need closure i experienced something like that similar but i finally come to a point that i realized that you know what it doesn't matter how many tarot readings that i get by asking about the past about this person i know that the only closure that i really need within myself is to just heal myself and move on from that thing you know from that situation i have to detach myself and just let it all go so that is the thing you know if you are still dealing with the past and you cannot let it go and you are so obsessed like you are so freaking obsessed about the past i suggest for you to please take a break and instead it's time for you to focus into your own spiritual journey it would be better that way it would be so much better that way so the very last thing the sixth point that i want to talk about which is very very important but a lot of people still cannot handle that is brutal honesty if you are someone that cannot handle brutal honesty and you know no sugar coating type of readings then i would suggest obviously don't consume tarot readings the thing is like when it comes to that though it really depends on the tarot reader themselves i myself i am the type of tarot reader that literally do not sugar coat if i see something bad if i see something dangerous i will say it i will literally like girl what are you doing it's time for you to leave the f out of this relationship i would sometimes even say like okay you don't need to book a reading with me it's very clear to see that your situation is like toxic with this person you just have to block this person you need to focus to yourself you know so sorry excuse me so if you are consuming like pick a card videos you know and you pick this pile and you're like oh you know what i really resonate with this message but you have to be able to handle brutal honesty if somehow the message comes up and it says that oh this person is really bad for you and you know you know deep down inside that that's true you know so what i'm saying is that yes it's always important for you to listen to your own intuition and to be honest with yourself please be honest with yourself when you listen to your own intuition you will know you will know and you will make no doubt you will know if a message resonates with you or not the problem is that if you are being in denial about it okay because a lot of times people blame the tarot readers or like you know just tarot reading content online in general and they blame it like oh you know this is like fake or oh this doesn't resonate or oh this is such a lot girl girl come on come on you need to take your own responsibility as well by consuming content like that you need to take your own responsibility to also think to for yourself and also think to yourself are you being honest with yourself are you being honest or are you being in denial you know you have to reflect on yourself as well from time to time i know this because i'm talking about myself as well okay i experienced something like that too so i know what i'm talking about okay and i'm not here to like roast you i'm just here to open up your eyes this is like so important because 
it can be really dangerous, you know, for someone to consume tarot readings when they are just dealing with a lot of their own issues that they just don't want to deal with or they just don't want to see, you know. So the last thing that I want to mention for all of you is that please, 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 you can, of course, take tarot readings away as a form of guidance, predictions, advices, and so on. Because me personally, as a tarot reader, I can also do mediumship, so I can also use tarot cards to channel your spirit guides, your ancestors, and so on. So yes, it is incredibly a beautiful thing. To, to experience, you know, to get a tarot reading because tarot cards are such powerful tools. But remember, you need to also take your own responsibility in your own choices, in your free will, and of course, in your own spiritual journey, okay? Don't ever forget about that. So with that being said, that is all that I want to talk about today. And again, I will definitely be back with a series of videos all surrounding tarot readings because I really want to get more educative in my channel. So make sure that you subscribe and click the bell ring if you haven't. Don't forget to also follow my Instagram for more content and let me know down below in the comments what you think about this video and if you have any other suggestions. So thank you so much for watching and I will be back. Mwah.